I saw someone one time at a restaurant passed out and someone got down on their knees and gave mouth to mouth to this person and they came back. They came back fully, woke up and were alive again. In John 20, verse 22, it says, He breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Now, there are many states of being out of consciousness. One of the states is just to believe in the same old, same old. But when God breathes on you, you have not a partial belief, not a sometimes wishy-washy belief, but you have the whole Spirit of God in you and through you. What does this do for you? You're empowered. You realize it's not you alone. What does it do for you? You realize that you're strengthened, that you have a power beyond yourself. It is said that knowing and believing are two different things. Think about this. You know, there have been many times in my life where I've known something, but I, in truth, I didn't believe it. You really don't believe something until you put it on and wear it like this coat that I'm wearing. Here, here, here's a, a, an example. We know that God loves us. However, when we believe that God loves us, we're filled with a sense of warmth that goes beyond just what we hear in a Sunday sermon. We're filled with a peace that, as it says in the Bible, passes understanding. Believing in God's love for us we consciously receive the good of God in a trusting and in a relaxed manner. Let us take time to pause and be still in prayer and to silently affirm this in prayer. I am relaxed and I am receptive to God. We do this several times today. I am relaxed and I am receptive to God. And soon we'll go beyond knowing to a belief. We'll have a warm glow of relaxation beginning in mind and gently flowing through our bodies. We'll be receptive to God and we'll have a divine love absolutely enfold us. A divine healing that is flowing through us. A peace that passes understanding that sustains us while God's perfect work is being accomplished. There is no end to the good that God can do for us and accomplish through us when we're not so tight that we can't receive it. When we relax and just let it happen, everything begins to come because we're receptive to it coming. I pray today that you are relaxed and you are receptive to God. I pray several times during the day, and if you've got a watch like mine, you can set a timer to remind you hourly to pray this prayer. I am relaxed, and I am receptive to God. I am relaxed and receptive to God. It feels good in the beginning. It feels even better with each hour that you do it.